the 12th time today the U.S. has conducted strikes against the Houthis. Um, is this a warm-up? Is it pre What are we doing here? Is this kind of getting us ready for what you believe might be a, an extended campaign against these proxy groups? All the signals coming out of the White House and the Pentagon are that this is not going to be a one-off issue. Uh, they're going to have some sort of a sustained operation, probably more so than we've seen in the Houthi situation, although that's a problematic because it's basically an open-ended campaign, and that could also go on for years. No one knows how long that might take because the Houthis can suck up a lot. But I'm yeah. more concerned about what may happen with the Iranian situation because the, uh, the look, the Iran has been much more proactive lately and much more, uh, I guess, frisky, if you want to say, in responding because yeah. they have launched attacks into Iraq, Syria, Pakistan lately when they felt they've been attacked. And I don't think it's an empty threat that they will respond if the IRGC gets hit this time. I was interested by the comment made by Dan Crenshaw today on Fox News. Drone was not made by militias. There's no, there's no drone factory that militias run. It's an Iranian made drone. And then the militias didn't steal it from Iran either. Iran gave it to them for the purpose of using against their enemies, which is us. He's indicating that, you know what, maybe it's time to go in after Iran and attack something that belongs to them. Do you think that might be part of the strategy? If it is, the administration has an obligation to come to Congress and get authorization first, because you start tracking Iranian targets, then you have the real chance of expanding into a war. And if we're going to go to war, then we have to get congressional approval first, not later. The president has the authority, because American troops have been killed, to go after the perpetrators, people who did it, not just because there may be second and third order support later yeah. on. That requires something different. And we cannot get into a war. I cannot stress how bad that would be for us. The, the Hill writes the following here, Colonel. Uh, are U.S. Iran already at war? Going on to say, while there has been no direct fighting between American troops and Iranian fighters, the U.S. says Iran is broadly complicit for supporting its proxies, and Iran is being pulled into the conflict more directly as well. Is it your assessment, Colonel, that Iran has both the capability and the desire, if for some reason the United States struck at them, to actually strike back and make this a bigger conflict? They have the capacity without question. There's no doubt that they have the capacity. Actually, on my deep dive show just yesterday, we had a former CIA official on there who talked in detail about the capacity that Iran has that they have demonstrated with, with pinpoint accuracy when they want to. And yeah. so they've withheld some of their best stuff so far. So if we get into a fight, it could get ugly.